Booty shorts. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got back from Ayala Mall here in Tagaytay. Ayala Mall. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick what we got. Cuz we went crazy a little bit. Can you pass me that? It's so cute! This is just a travel pillow. And we got it for $2.99. 299 pesos, which equates to what? Six dollars? Yeah? Five, not even five, less than five dollars. Okay, whatever. Six dollars is three hundred. Pasta, two hundred ninety nine pesos. It feels like really good quality. This has like a little pin over here, and it has a little oh. a hump, a hump. So it fits nicely, like that. We also got this one because it was just cute. It also comes with a sleeping mask. Look at it! It's so cute! This one was cheaper too. It was $1.99 which you could sell about $4. $4. But yeah, it's not as soft as that one because that one's like memory foam. This one feels like there's like cotton inside or whatever but it was so cute so I wanted it. We also got these. These are like nose masks I believe or like peels. I have no idea because it's in Korean. So I got two. One for him, one for me. Oh, there you go. On the back it says this one is bamboo. The blue one is bamboo. This one is aloe. I got this one. This is color pencils. 18 count. It's 99 pesos, which is about $2 or less. He got this for his nephew back in Hawaii. This is a uh, tableware. In green, it's 99 pesos. It's about two dollars less than two dollars. What is this? Let me show you. So it's like this on the outside. It's plastic, and then you slide it. <laughs> Look what you got! Oh. <laughs> and it's metal. I have no idea. Let's see. It feels light, so. Aluminum. It's light. Oh, it's hollow inside. So it comes with a hollow, hollow spoon. <laughs> so it's like the small head and then it's long. In a little case. Oh, it's dirty. Anyways, so it comes in a little case. So I thought it was super cute. So I wanted it. I don't even need it, but I wanted it. <laughs> so I got it because it's less than $2. Huh? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. See, I do have a use for it. I put it back in here. Thanks. Then we also went to the national bookstore. My sister suggested I go there, but I like I didn't know what to get from there, so I just kind of looked around. It's pink. It was actually expensive. It's like four nineteen. Which is like eight, about eight dollars for a planner. I mean, that's not bad, but for Philippines, that's just fancy. I'm gonna give it to my sister, so I hope you don't mind that I'm opening it. So it looks like these. It has little pockets over here. I don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, you can see. One, two, three, and then a bigger flap here. It looks like this. Oh, I cannot open it. Oh, I can open it, but I don't want to. And it also comes with a little Ziploc opening thing. Maybe, I guess, like, you can put stickers, post-it notes, or pens in there. But it also comes with its own pen. Cute! Can you put it back, boo? Thanks. Put it back so it doesn't get dirty! I decided to get this for my nephews. 159 pesos, which is, like... Seven dollars. About seven dollars. It's a 3D drawing pad and it comes with 50 sheets. So I just decided to get one that they can share. This one now. I got one that they can share. It's a magnetic sheet. It's like a whiteboard, but it's like a sheet. See, it's magnetic. So I wanted to get this because I thought it would be cool to put it on a refrigerator back in Hawaii. 
so I can put like, you know, I can just write down like my grocery list. And I bought washi tape for my friend because she loves um, planning. Bullet journal oh, or whatever. It's one thirty nine seventy five pesos. No, and like this one. Morning. We're gonna be there by See? morning. Right? And then my boo wanted to buy this. This is alcohol. Twenty five pesos. It's a spray type. And then he decided to get two of these whiteouts. They're thirty six pesos each. Each less than a dollar each, but he said he got this for his mom. He wanted to pick up these playing cards, bicycle brand, and it was 150 pesos. That's three dollars. That's expensive. 250, bro. And then I got stickers to 60 pesos. This is a seal sticker, so it says it comes with four sheets of removable sticker. It just looks like that. I guess this is good for like bullet journaling too. Then I got a whole bunch of pens. They, um, I, I tested all of them out before I bought them because I gotta make sure they look good. So they all have different prices. Uh, I got a purple and a pink one. And then this is the Uniball, Uniball brand. And then I got these this yes. is 60 this one is really nice too these are 68 68 pesos 68.75 i got these three colors and then i got these two these were the most expensive ones these are 115 pesos each so i got a blue and a purple How about me? no you can't have one you had your chance fool so we spent 2,027, 2,027 pesos and 25 centimos. Yeah? For this whole thing? No. Way. At the national bookstore. Like the ones that we got at the national bookstore. Duh. No way. Yeah. And then at the Korean store, we spent 1,044, 1,044 pesos. No way. Yeah. And then we went to pen shop. Boom, pen shop. I got, we actually went there twice. This is the first stop. I got pants. Oh. Do rank. <laughs> These are like boyfriend type pants, but they actually fit tighter than boyfriend pants. Feet. <laughs> feet. As in feet. feet. They feet. But it looks like this. It's uh, I got it in size 28. I'm big. But it looks like that. The bottom is look like this. It's frayed. And this is the back. Is that pasalubong? No, it's for me, bro. For yourself. And this one was yourself. 999 pesos, which is about 20 dollars. So expensive. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of expensive for Philippines. This is fancy. Obviously, I wanted it in this color too. So I got it. But this one is a size 27. But They're the same thing? It's the same, but different color. They're like mom jeans. They're supposed to be boyfriend jeans, but they fit like mom jeans on me. But this, oh yeah, same price, $9.99. So it's frayed at the bottom. And then I got this. Oh, this top. This top was three ninety nine, and I got it in a medium. It's just a plain gray crop top, but it has longer sleeves, so it kind of has that vintage feel to it. I thought it looked cute. What's your total there? My total was two thousand three hundred ninety seven pesos. <laughs> Which is about what? What is that? 50, 45. <clears throat> 45 bucks, boo. About $45. $45. Not bad. <laughs> we went again. After a while, we had lunch and then we went back. Because I didn't buy anything the first time, the first stop. 
So he got this shirt, this white shirt in large. It's 299 pesos, which is about six dollars. And it just says white shirt. <laughs> and that's not for me. That's for that's for Pasalubo. He got this for somebody else. For a friend. He got it for a friend. What my Ashni? He also got this hat. It says all the cool folks. Manila, Philippines. And that's for a friend also. That's this is for a friend. This is how much? 299 pesos, which is about six dollars. And then he also got this hat. It's 269 pesos. It's it's the same thing. It says all the cool folks. Manila. It's not for me. I didn't buy anything. Hey, okay. one of it is for you, you said. He's so lie, bruh. One of these is his. One of these is for a friend. Ooh. And then I got a hat. This is Crazy Cat Lady, even if I'm not a cat person, because I just thought it was cute. It's 269 pesos, which is about five dollars. Five dollars. You need to chill. Kick your ass. I like tea. Hmm? I like tea. Here you go. We also went to Serenity. I got these shorts. Ooh! What's a lobo? No, it's for me. <laughs> this is 699 pesos, which is about $13. That's expensive. But it's cute! You can buy that in the Visoria. It's cute! It has pockets! And it has a drawstring. It's cute! <laughs> and then. We went to the workstation <laughs> to get this. <laughs> what is this? Super sponge. Tire black. Whatever this is. Th that's for your tires to keep it shiny. Whatever. But it was 164 pesos and 75 centimos. It's three bucks, boo. Three dollars. It's not 664 <laughs> pesos. 699 oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we also went to the Japan home center we spent 216 pesos there what did we buy oh we just bought this it's a scrubber men's body towel it says it was 66 pesos so it's about a little bit more than a dollar because he doesn't like the little fluffy loofahs he doesn't think it works so well. He broke our last one. Then we got these clean sham. Two different brands, but deals. We got a blue one. This is for my dad. And then he got a turquoise color one. Is that your favorite color? Because you have shorts in those col that color. No, it was just an accident. And then we went to W Department Store where I spent 2,033 pesos and 76 centimos. Which is about forty dollars. He bought this and this for his nephew. A provinciano. Pidgey. Show the back. Boom. Hindi ka na makalimas kayo sa akin. Boom. This one comes with an Airbus helicopter and soldiers. This one comes with you. This was 69 pesos and 75 centimos, which is a little bit more than a dollar. Wow, he a little bit more than a dollar. So this, I guess, is about three dollars together. Yeah, less than actually. I got a whole bunch of makeup. This one was 220. This is Ever Bilena, and it's a powder. It's in soft beige. Is that famous? Well, I like it. Look, I think it's too light for me. No, is it something you can buy in Hawaii? No, this is a Philippine brand. Then Everything. how do you know you like it? Because I bought one of these five years ago. Okay, you don't see And I, I still use it. I mean, I just ran out recently. I mean, I know you're not even supposed to be using your makeup for five years. Anyways, this is everything I got in soft beige because the lady said that if I'm... um. 
if I sweat a lot or if I if I get oily, this is actually good. I swatched these before I bought them. Even this one. This is actually kind of expensive though. This is the brand Into It. It's a brow powder. It says shake and flick before use. Flick what? What do I flick? But this is a brow powder. She swatched it on her hand. She swatched it on her hand to show it to me. Flick. So it's, it's like a wand. It's like a wand. And then you, I guess you put it on your eyebrows and then whatever. This is long wearing, water resistant, smudge proof, easy to apply with a slim applicator, contains vitamin E and can make both natural look or dramatic look. Wow. This was 379 pesos and 75 centimos. Ooh. Expensive. Yeah, this is expensive. I agree. I agree you. I agree. I agree with you. You guys see a trend here, like everything that's for is expensive. <laughs> I got this Everbelena matte lipstick ah. in Sienna's. The lady told me that this was actually one of their best sellers, and she told me that after I picked it out, because you know I'm good at picking colors anyway. This is really nice too. I swatched it on my hand earlier and I don't want to touch this now but I'll show you guys how it looks like it looks like that it looks dark but it's actually really nice like swatched it's like lighter it looks lighter than this it looks like a natural pinky mauve color it's 165 pesos which is about three dollars I also got it in the liquid lipstick so this is Sienna's this is the liquid lipstick version it's the same shade no, ew! Just right there. Yeah, right there. And then this one is Toast of New York. This is more brownie. It's a little bit browner than the other one that I just showed you. But the lady said this one is a new shade. This one is 185. 185 pesos. And then I wanted new, um, I wanted more liquid lipsticks, so she showed me the Intuit brand. This is expensive, yo. This one is, um, what shade is this? What shade is this, bruh? This is Ravish. Ravish. This is Ravish. Ravish. It looks like that. This is 379 pesos and 75 cents. That's $7. About seven dollars, and then I also get this. Got this one. This one's regal. It's a little bit more plum, burgundy. No idea, but it looks like that. It's pretty true to color. Like whatever you see in the bottle is pretty much how it swatches. Those are liquid lipsticks. Those are expensive. We also went to Bench. I didn't get anything. What? So bench. Did you get anything there? Why not? I only got my uncle something. We spent a hundred. Oh no! We spent one thousand three hundred sixty-eight pesos and fifty centimos there. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got these shorts. Booty shorts. Sweet shorts. <laughs> for how much? <laughs> he got it for. How come? Oh. He got it for 399 pesos and 75 centimos. How much is it? Eight dollars. It's expensive. He thinks it's expensive, but my stuff was more expensive anyway. And then he got this, this, this. Three quarter <clears throat> sleeve in white. And it has a pocket here in the front. How much was this book? It was a deal. Two for 699. So he got a white one and then he got a black one. So it's one. about 350 each. Which is $7. See, it's about $7. $7 each? Yeah. It's kind of expensive. See? Yeah, you can get this at Old Navy, dude. Yeah, for free. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but this is Bench, though. It's it's like a popular Philippine brand. Are you going to pack it, Boo? Because... Uh, are you going to pack these? I might wear that going to Hawaii. Which one? The black or the white? Both. <laughs> How are you gonna wear both? And then I wanted to get this for my uncle. It says, yeah. Fuck yeah, but I don't know. She got in the center one that says, fuck yeah. Yeah, anyway. 
so that's everything that we got at Ayala Mall. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of other bags. Show them already. For Pasalubong. From SM. But those aren't from Ayala Mall. This is an Ayala Mall video haul. Okay. I also have bought BLK makeup. BLK makeup and Vice. Vice Ganda. Vice Cosmetics. So, <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Toodles!